So there's a couple of things. Uh, again, I'm, I'm John Harmon. I'm with uh, FR Secure and Security Studio. Um, and we get this question a lot as security consultants. It's, uh, it's, uh, there's a couple of things that work here. Number one, speaking about data security and, uh, and the cloud, right? As everybody that's so eloquently puts it, can somebody define the cloud for me? What is the cloud? Anybody? Somebody else's computer, that's all it is, right? So you're trading physical concerns for logical concerns, right? Instead of having to lock a door where your server is, you have to lock their credentials to get into somebody else's data center. Does that make sense? That's all it is. So you still have to provide the same level of diligence, it's just in a different way. The second part of this equation is the data itself, and you're getting into PCI compliance. Does anybody know what PCI stands for? Data card industry, no, it stands for pay cash instead. Because <laughs> PCI compliance, if you're taking credit cards for your business, no matter if you're going out on the internet and, and typing them in from your, from your computer through a keyboard, the, the rule is if you're typing it in on that computer and that computer also has uh, access to an email or access to a file share or access to an accounting system or whatever it is, a key logger can be put on that computer and therefore everything that that computer touches needs to be PCI compliant. See how that gets out of hand real quick? So if you're entering your credit card numbers into a system that is somebody else's, you're not storing the data, but you are transferring it, right? If you have a call center and you're recording the calls and people are rattling off their credit card numbers over the phone and you're recording them, you now have credit card data on your hands, right? So it's all these little peccadillas, all these little things. So do I, um, would I recommend one way or the other? No, just understand the risks involved in each. Make sure you put some math behind those decisions and, and make them all. But they're both equally viable. Yeah, you know, the only thing I, I would add to that is that you know, calculating it out, right? What's it worth? What's what's it gonna? You know, I'm looking at it from a business owner perspective. Um, how is this gonna? How is this potentially gonna add value to my, my company? How is this gonna improve our efficiencies, right? If it, if, if that's if, if that outweighs potential risk that you might be taking on this, hey, that's how you make that decision. Can I throw my little, yeah. my little insurance thing in? So your comment, sir, was a lot of what I hear, and that is, um, if we don't do that, somebody else takes care of the credit card stuff. So we don't need insurance for that. And I think your comments were uh, right on is that um, if, if that company gets hacked and you use that company, you're supposed to let your clients know. If, um, if if your data gets breached, even though you say you don't keep credit cards, you gotta let your clients know and, and work on your security. So so you do have exposure, even if you don't take care of those credit cards right in your business. So it's exposure. Yeah, even if your industry doesn't require you to tell, you don't want to. Uh, you want your customers to find out another way. <laughs> don't be that guy. Yeah, don't be that guy.